Hi everybody, I've got a wee haul video for you today. If you've seen my other videos, you probably already know that I'm a massive fan of Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. I've got, I guess you could say I've got a quite delicate nose. I'm a big fan of perfumes and my collection of Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab perfumes is just getting grossly bigger all the time, but that's okay. So anyway, I was very, very excited the other day when my much-awaited most recent order from Black Phoenix um, turned up in the post. Everything takes quite a long time to get here to where I live, and it's always very exciting when things actually show up. So I had ordered three of the large bottles, which are like this size. These are the sort of standard large bottles, and I'd ordered six imps as well. Now the wee imps are just these little wee vials of perfume and they're a good idea if you just want to try a uh, perfume out without committing to a whole bottle. And what I love the most about Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab perfumes is that every single one of them comes with its own lavish description and <laughs> I read a description of a perfume, I'm kind of sold. The other thing that's really cool, um, every time you order from them, they seem to send you freebies as well. Like, uh, I mean, I ordered six imps, but they sent me eight free imps as well. And that's brilliant because that's uh, just another really good way to discover things that you might potentially really like. Like the way I discovered one of my favorite perfumes was because they'd sent me it as a free sample. And <laughs> with this order, I have, actually bought the whole bottle of it. So you may have heard me mention in my favourites video from last month um, that I was in love with Dance Macabre. Still in love with Dance Macabre. Uh, Mr. L believes this perfume sort of suits me. <laughs> and like I said they all come with their own descriptions. So description of Dance Macabre is, let's read it off my laptop, from a funeral oils collection, an allegorical expression of the ineffable, indisputable triumph of death generally expressed in medieval artwork as a violin or flute wielding skeleton leading processions of dancers to their graves. Black cypress with oak moss frankincense out in a sliver of toasted hazelnut. Your sense of smell is the sense most closely related to memory, so when you smell something it might conjure a memory in your head or provoke images. For me that's kind of a big deal. What smells amazing to one person might not smell good to another. I, personally, my favourites are the kind of deathly scented, graveyard scented perfumes. So this one, which I love very much, um, it's not my number one favourite, but it's one of them. To me, it reminds me of like a big old Victorian house. Big old dusty Victorian house. So yes, I've got a whole bottle of that. This next one here, this whole bottle, is Deep in Earth. This is Mr. Owl's favourite one. So, yeah, we ordered this one especially for him. Deep in Earth. And the description for Deep in Earth is Deep in Earth my love is lying and I must weep alone. Rose geranium, Spanish moss, Irish yew and graveyard dirt. So, if you've ever wondered for some reason what my boyfriend smells like, that's what he smells like. Graveyard dirt. <laughs> Another full bottle I got is this Robin Goodfellow. It's supposed to be like, I think, inspired by Puck from A Midsummer Night's Dream, because his name is also Robin Goodfellow. Now this one is nice on its own, it's really lovely on its own, but the reason I got it is because sometimes I like to combine perfumes, <laughs> and this one is one of my other absolute all-time favourites, it's Wedgie. Wedgie. I found that combining Wedgie with Robin Goodfellow is absolutely wonderful. I love the combination of those two for some reason. And I must say I'm pretty excited by the imps that I've been sent for free because there's a couple of things there that I'm looking forward to trying out, like combining with some of the other ones I already have. Now I only ordered six imps, but like I said they sent me an extra eight. Ooh, sometimes they also send you other freebies, like quite often they'll send you postcards with like some quite beautiful artwork on it on them so I've got a little collection of those going on and last time I made an order they sent me badge as well which is pretty cool this one I was pretty excited to give a try this one's called burial <laughs> like I said I like the deathly graveyard scented one so when I saw there was one called burial I had to give it a go the description for burial is I'm reading off my laptop. 
the dark side of earth, deep brooding forest scents including juniper and patchouli, the scent of upturned cemetery loam mingling with floral offerings to the dead. Oh naturally I had to get it. Unfortunately I found this one doesn't smell very nice on me so I'm going to get Mr. L to try it because perfumes often tend to smell different on hmm, different people. For example I got an imp of Bepal's most popular oil which is snake oil and like everybody really seems to like that one but I didn't. Like I put it on me and I was like ugh, ugh. <laughs> it just had this horrible like baby powder kind of smell on me whereas Mr. L tried it and I was like actually that's uh, pretty good. I guess it's something to do with like maybe the pH of your skin. Another one, another imp I got which I really wanted to try was the, and I'm not sure entirely how to pronounce this, the Antikythera mechanism. <laughs> it's from their sort of like steampunk range. It's pretty cool if you're into steampunk they have like um, some pretty legit sort of steampunk scented things. You might want to give them a try. One of the reasons I chose this one is because it seemed to contain some of the scents that I like. Um, from the other ones. I was trying to see what my favourite ones had in common so I could pick maybe another one that would be really good. So this one is Bronze Gears spin inside a polished wooden case and an entire universe dances within. Teakwood, oak, black vanilla and tobacco. And I tried it on and it's it's pretty nice and what I noticed is that when I was smelling it I could identify individually each one of those things. I was like, oh yeah, tobacco, oh yeah, vanilla, oh yeah, oak, hmm. Another of the sort of steampunk ones I got was the Obsidian Widow. I won't read the descriptions for the ones that have long descriptions because some of them come with like a whole poem or like a whole excerpt from something. This one's supposed to be Pinot Noir, Dark Myrrh, Red Sandalwood, Black Patchouli, Night Blooming Jasmine, bleh, Jasmine and Atter of Rose. And again, it really wasn't for me, <laughs> but definitely worth trying. Beepal also has like a whole section for ones that are supposed to smell of places. So I got London because I love the city of London and I really 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 hope I get to go back there sometime soon. If you live there I'm incredibly jealous of you. Um, and this one's Venerable Victorian Tea Rose twisted, blackened and emboldened with wickedness. It is just a lovely lovely rose scent and I love rose scented things. Oh I do. One of my favourite favourite smells so I like that one very very much. Now this one I was particularly keen to try it's called Jazz Funeral and the reason I picked this one out is because some people had sort of suggested that it was quite similar to the perfume that is my number one favourite so I was going to get a whole bottle but Mr. Al insisted I only just get a small one just to try it out. Description for Jazz Funeral is it's got a very long description like song lyrics so it's bittersweet bay rum bourbon a host of funeral flowers with a touch of graveyard dirt magnolia and spanish moss now i found bizarrely that one to be weirdly comforting i thought it had this wonderful warm comforting feel about it i don't know maybe i'm weird i really enjoyed it but it's not um, like my number one favourite which is kind of a, a pity but it like it is pretty good. The last of the ones that I ordered myself was Lady Macbeth. There's also like a, a little um, section <laughs> on their website for sort of Shakespearean themed ones. Uh, the same where Robin Goodfellow came from. And this one's Lady Macbeth and I've wanted to try it for a long time. The description for Lady Macbeth. Essence of ambition, covetousness and manipulation. Sweet Bordeaux wine, blood red currant, thyme and wild berries and it's absolutely beautiful. This real edible yumminess and it to me smells like sexy berries if that is at all easy to imagine. It's this real mm, like feminine sexy berry smell. Half of the fun was getting the free imps. Some of them I haven't tried yet. I tested out a couple so I could tell you about them but I mean they sent me Fay Croquet which I feel like might be from one of the Alice in Wonderland um, themed thingy-majiggers. Trig. I'm looking forward to trying this one. I can't remember the description but it did sound pretty good so something to look forward to. Nefertiti which I think is meant to be maybe like an Egyptian smell. Queen of Hearts. There's another kind of I think probably this is from the Alice in Wonderland um, thing as well. Crossroads. This was one I got quite excited about because I, I mean I looked up the descriptions of all of them when I got them. 
Sue is it's dark with mystery, taut with power. Chill twilight garden of blooms over dry earth and mosses, heavily laden with incense and offertory herbs. Now undeniably it does smell like those things. But it doesn't really suit me, unfortunately. But it's always worth trying these things out. How else will you know? The other one I got pretty excited about was Lilith. Nice evil smell there. Nice feminine evil smell. Mother of demons, vengeful fury, darkest seductress, queen of the jinn, goddess of the gate. Red wine, myrrh, black mask, and attar of rose. All the things I like, pretty much. I don't know if I'll get a full bottle of it, but I really liked this one. I put it on and it, it just had like a real like, thought well, that is a sexy scent. <laughs> some, some things just smell sexy. <laughs> Some of them are supposed to. I think this one's supposed to, and it achieves that. Lastly, but definitely not least, this is the first one I pulled out of the box. It's called Bliss, and it smells exactly like chocolate. It's supposed to. It's, um, I guess that's why it's called Bliss. It smells like expensive chocolate, and I tried it out, and I just wanted to chew through my wrist. It's that convincingly chocolate. I also ordered uh, these. Six of these. These are the wand caps, which you can put in the lids of the large bottles to make it easier to um, get them out to put on. I don't know if you're as excited about perfume as I am, but I'm pretty freaking excited about perfume. Yes, so that's been my Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab haul. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, pretty please subscribe to my channel, hit that red button down below. It'd be lovely if you would do that. Also visit me on Facebook, facebook.com slash it is Black Friday. Tell me below if you've got a favorite perfume and if you've ever tried Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab, because if you haven't, I recommend you do. Ever since one of my friends got me onto it, I've been basically hooked. They just have hundreds or like maybe thousands, I don't know, but they have a perfume for everybody. They have so many and they keep bringing out more and they're just, I don't know, I get, I get excited. Mm. Do recommend. Thank you and see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.